Petrol aspirated 1.4 and 1.6 are descended from the Opel engine X14 XE. The structurally similar 1.8 engine is considered the most reliable, but few cars were sold with it. All have distributed injection, a variable geometry intake manifold, and a timing belt drive. There was a common illness in the form of quickly dirty and stuck valves. She was cured by 2008. Leaks of the valve cover gasket and seals are preserved. The heat exchanger gasket is also weak. All engines are sensitive to fuel quality's detonation occurs from bad fuel and coking of the rings progresses. With normal maintenance, the piston group lives up to 350 to 400,000 kilometers, but the thermostat and radiator rarely cross the line of 100,000 kilometers. The ignition coils and the water pump are even less durable. The five-speed mechanics are related to the Opel F16, but stronger and more reliable. The resource goes beyond 250,000 kilometers Achilles heel release bearing, sometimes dying to 30,000 kilometers, although the clutch assembly itself runs over 150,000 kilometers. Not bad four-speed automatic transmissions ZF and Eisen. Both are thoughtful, but with good service up to 200,000 kilometers, there are no problems with them. Unless the ZF may have electronic failures when driving in the heat in traffic jams. On late cars, there is a Jim 6 speed 6T30 automatic. He has more weak points, he does not tolerate even short overheating, although the resource is about the same. In the suspension, everything lasts an acceptable long time, except for bushings and stabilizer struts. Tie rod ends live 80 to 120,000 kilometers on early machines. The power steering often leaked, then it was modernized. Brake caliper guides quickly go sour. This leads to uneven wear of the pads. Sagging doors are easy to fix since the hinges are bolted. Many complaints about the electrics. Lamps often burn out, wire insulation falls off, connectors are poorly protected from moisture, various systems fail, including ABS, ignition switch, central locking, and climate control. The neutralizer and its sensors are short-lived. On many machines, they have been removed and replaced with tricks, which increases the noise. In the cold, the fluid supply pipe to the rear wiper regularly bursts, sometimes flooding and closing important circuits. If you know of other breakdowns or malfunctions, then tell us about it in the comments. Your review can help others when choosing a used car.